Hey guys, welcome back to The Lotus SP Season 2, where today we are back working on the Mega Base. So, for today's episode, we are not going to be working on the actual Mega Base itself. We are going to be working on the area around it because this area is kind of plain and the Mega Base goes nowhere. So, we need to get this area connected to that area. The first step is we are going to build a centerpiece. This centerpiece piece is going to have a fog effect of glass so the first thing we need to get done today is digging out an area The hole has been dug now. I changed the walls out for calcite. I put frog lights on the bottom and the design of what the glass is going to be. So the fog effect is going to use all of these colors of glass and it's going to be basically in this pattern. So all the way up here is going to be yellow, all the way up there is going to be green and so on. It's going to look like a color wheel when it's done, which is going to be really cool for the centerpiece of our base. I was originally gonna put a beacon there, but I'm not too sure how I really like the beacon beam being like right in front of our base. So I'm going to just build it up and then see what I think about the beacon after. Let's get to building the fog effect. it is done the centerpiece is done it looks so cool from walking on it it isn't as cool because you can see all of the glass layers but from above it is a really cool i really like it i still gotta decide whether or not i want the beacon here now we need to get a path going all right the layout of the path has been done as you can see it goes all the way around in the circle but now it is time i am going to go and put the path in and the path is done it looks really cool i really like how it is as you can see it goes all the way around we also got a path going over this way as well because if you look over here i have terraformed this land with the help from seaman this is going to be our next project which will be coming in the next episode so be sure to look out for that so i just made a path that we can eventually connect over to that land the next step of what we need to do to make this area look nice out here and not so plain is i am going to build a tree right here The tree has been built. It is a pretty big tree. We have hanging lanterns with some different colored stained glass on it, which I really like. Really adds color to the tree and light to it. But now we have this tree, we have the mega base, and we still have a lot of empty land that needs to be filled. So what we are going to do is I want to make flower fields in all of this empty area for all of the the flowers in Minecraft. So there are 18 flowers that I counted. So we need to make 18 different flower fields. The areas for all of the flower fields have been laid out. This was a bit of a pain trying to figure out how to divide this area into 18 different sections, but we got it to work. So now we just need to fill these with flowers.
fields are all finished. I am absolutely in love with how it all turned out. It looks so colorful, so amazing, and it just fits the vibe of our mega base. I am glad I decided to use quartz for the perimeter of all of the fields as it matches our centerpiece, so it just all fits so well together. Now, I did just realize a few minutes ago that this isn't all of the flowers as I forgot one important flower and that is the wither rose. I don't know how I could have forgotten it so this isn't all of them before anyone comments below that like hey this is not all of them because you forgot one like yeah I know I don't know how I could have forgotten it but we will have to find somewhere else for the wither rose to go but I also added this moss carpet with frog lights under to light the area up which I really like it because it really brings the area together because I didn't want to fully put the perimeter of the flower fields right on the edge of the path so I really like that it just makes it all come together. But now for the last and final bit of the episode. I know I said we weren't going to work on the mega base today but I think I really want to build another part of the mega base. So we are going to build one of the towers up. And the tower is all finished. I believe this is one of the second tallest parts of the mega base. It's about that tall, just a bit taller, which is really cool. That room I have not decorated yet because I am going to wait until we get up to that floor, but the mega base is coming along well because when you enter, I added the roof up here as well as some of the floor. The storage is right there. And then this is the new room that we have built up which is our workbench room. Basically, our storage room is right over there, so right across from it, we have our workbench room, which has all of the workbenches we would need, like a stone cutter, a smithing table, a crafting table, grindstone, loom, a cartography table, ender chest, an anvil, and we also have a cool chandelier built here, and a second little loft. But the entrance of the mega base is all built up. It looks so cool. I I did end up adding the beacon. I figured it would be cool if the beacon was there. And then I made it purple since purple is my favorite color. And I added a iron trap door here because I wanted the center of it to be white. And since the iron trap door is white, I figured it would work. And it looks cool with it right on the center. That is going to conclude this episode of the Lotus SMP Season 2. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and like the entrance that we have built up. Next episode, we are working on a new project, which will be right over there next to our mega base. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!